The Elite Plus is a new concept this year from the Pro Tour. It's more tour points towards the championship. It's more cash. It's more prestigious. So it's just kind of more of everything. Missy Gannon is always fun to watch. She throws the thrasher like it's an extension of her very soul. She does have like some sneaky distance, not quite as much as some of the other ladies, but she has that confidence. She has that focus. Sai is so much fun to watch because she is like the essence of somebody who's in love with the game. And she's so consistent and clean. You can just tell that nothing gets her down. Her miss putts, not any bad drives, nothing. She's just focused and having fun. Looks like she plays really well with the crowd and, and thrives off that energy. Juliana is a five-time world champ, one of the most iconic women our sport has. She has a bit of a lack of confidence. Women are throwing so far and developing so many skills that maybe she didn't see when she played so much. But when she plays her own game, throwing a lot of backhand control turnover shots and making some great putts and some just pinpoint approaches, she can play just as well, if not better, than the rest of us. Some players might say, oh, you know, this course isn't really part of my game and I don't really like this course and that can be like a good excuse not to play well and for Kristen she's just thinking it doesn't matter where I'm at I'm gonna play to play well. Kristen Tatar is the most dominant player this year and she's showing us time and time again. Kristen has so much precision and so much variety in her skill set and confidence to execute any shot she can shred no matter where she's at. Is there anything that you can actually do to reel in Kristen Tatar? Hello and welcome to the 2023 Portland Open. It's the final round, uh, fourth round that is, and we're at the front nine. This is a tournament presented by Latitude 64. I'm Erica Sinchcomb. And I'm Rebecca Cox. And we're Coxcomb Commentary. Rebecca's mm -hmm. been doing great filling in uh, for Madison Walker. Uh, we love having her. Thanks for having us. Uh, just a reminder that June 9th is the deadline to um, try to win <laughs> the uh, giveaway for two VIP tickets, all-inclusive trip to Pro Worlds. Also, if you haven't noticed all of this great merch, uh, we have new Jomez dad hats in all new colors, new approachable merch, a uh, podcast by Paige Pearson, Joe Henderson. So go check that out at jomezpro.com slash shop. Uh, and yeah, that's it, right? Yes, yeah. that's, that's the merch. We love it. Glendivere, Glendivere East, again, uh, our second time playing it. Distance is a little over 9,000 feet. Uh, most of us like the East course better than the West course. It's very scenic. There's more variety of shots. Again, I agree. Oh, sorry. Yeah. <laughs> I agree with that statement. It Whole, is more fun to play. It is. I think more fun to watch, too. Thanks again to UDisc for all of the great stats that we utilize throughout the tournament. And here we go. Kristen Tatar, super solid. We all know how she's been doing. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, very few mistakes. And today's just gonna be one of those days where she just keeps doing what she's doing. Sayananda, I love what you said about how she just has that joy and love of the game. And it's pretty fun to watch her as well. Yeah. Juliana Corver. Fun to play with, fun to watch play. She has so much expertise with those understable discs and hopefully today with the higher winds, we'll get to see her finesse some more shots. And Missy Gannon rounds out the card. Uh, look at that circle one X percentage. Shoo. She's first at 94%. Hoping to see some big putts drop for Missy today. And here we go, hole one, 590 feet, par four kind of an intimidating drive right off the bat. We have this OB green, the sand trap, and right about here is the maximum distance landing zone that we'll see from the bigger arms. The basket is on this hillside and is also elevated, so there's a lot of danger with that upshot, with keeping it high enough to get there, but not too high to just sail it over the OB. This did play as the hardest hole on the course yesterday. We only saw, I think, three birdies. Kristen going with the forehand play. Yeah, definitely a, a bonus birdie if you're able to get it. Kristen has been maintaining her six stroke lead for two full rounds over Sayananda. I love the safe forehand shot. 
Usually most of them push past that green and there is a pretty safe landing zone if you're able to control the distance. Now with Sai, I expect the high turnover line. Yeah, and that's actually a VIP gatekeeper. So a mid, slightly stable or maybe neutral mid-range. Oh, mid-range. So yeah. she's kind of disking down for more control, I guess. I bet she gives it a lot of height though. Oh yeah. Hmm, early. Let's get through that. Whew, drop safe. That is just safe past that OB line. A little short, but hopefully she's able to clean up par from there. Juliana has been throwing these star turns all over the course. She has such good control and precision. That's looking great. Mm -hmm. Just needs to get past that bunker. And oh. it does. <laughs> Fantastic start. We all know what Missy's throwing. Yeah. <laughs> it's a thrasher if you're new. <laughs> and it looked like she started that pretty wide, but she could be going uh, for that area right there instead of messing with the bunker. It's a smart play. It's a little bit wider. Yeah, it's a safer wider. play. Mm -hmm. So I'm sure they saw Sai cut it a little tight. This is a tough shot for Sai because she's throwing right at that OB line on the left. Mm -hmm. Looks like she threw something thrower speed threw something lower speed for the control and that's a solid shot. Kristen, probably around three hundred feet. Throwing something kind of fast and low, giving it a chance to maybe skip up towards the basket, but not really high enough to get in any danger. Yeah, I imagine she'll lay that one up for parts. Very risky on the putting green. Missy giving it a little bit more height, trying to skip there. And lands at circle's edge. Yeah, with the hill dipping down on the right side, it's almost, I don't know, it's hard, almost hard to commit to throwing it hard. It is. Because you're not sure if it'll come back. The speed control is definitely everything on this approach shot. It's a star road runner. Juliana getting oh. inside the circle, <laughs> about 22 feet. A little bit of a testy putt for the first hole. Mm -hmm. Needs to start getting stable. That looks really good. It does, a little deep. Oh yeah, it is deep. That's a tough that, putt coming back. Yeah. It's very uphill. And very high, yes. Yeah, not really the putt you want for your par on this hole. Kristen finding bullseye with that layup. Missy always eyeing these up. Oh, right. I love that. Out of the gate. Let's see that slow mess. Missy said, today's the day for me. <laughs> Man, if you ever see her layup, you better check her temperature. <laughs> Wow, what a confident start from Missy. Sigh, a little left on her par save. Yeah, I gave it a good bid though. Mm -hmm. So Kristen and Sai both shot seven downs on the course yesterday. Juliana and Missy, I believe, both shot six. What a good here. putt. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, Juliana's looking at nothing but sky through the chains. Two birdies on the lead card. That is impressive. Yeah, on this hole. Along with those birdies, Ella Hansen, Jennifer Allen, and Stacy Ronsley also got the birdie. Nice. A couple more ladies figuring it out today. Yeah, and although the wind was a little stronger, it's not as, it's not, it's nothing too intense. Yeah, we can handle it. A little earlier in the morning, so it's still a little low, but it's there. Sai and Juliana both tied for second, seven strokes back of Kristen Tatar. Hole two is a par three, downhill 315 feet. Forehand is the play. Uh, you can take the wide shot that the drone just took. There's also a skinnier inside gap that's more of a flex forehand. We are gonna see Juliana and Sai throw the turnover backhand, which brings that left side OB line into play much more. 
Uh, Juliana went OB yesterday with her turn and I believe is correcting that choice today with a road runner. Yeah, there's a bit of a right to left wind here, which kind of makes the backhand turnover a little more uh, dangerous. Or not dangerous, but harder to throw. Yeah, harder to execute for sure. Juliana clips the early tree, gonna land very short. Surprised not to see Missy go forehand. But really? She, I mean, she's got it when I mean, she just doesn't bring it out that often. Um, but uh, hey, pretty good backhand. Yeah. <laughs> She'll settle for that. Uh huh. I don't know. This tee shot just screams forehand, I think. Yeah, I think if you have a naturally powerful forehand like Kristen, it's easier to execute the shot. You can just kind of throw something stable yeah, and let, let the fade. disc do the work. Mm -hmm. We've signed it to the circle. Yeah, at least close. Very impressive backhands. That was a Vandal from Psy. Missy through the ESP Mantis on the backhand. Stay up a little bit. Juliana will have a look for par. Kind of a scary shot because the sand trap is right there. Yeah. It's to, within, she left it higher than that. She probably would have risked going in there. Mm -hmm. It's within like 10 feet, isn't it? Yeah. And Sai. Sai with the long birdie. Cleaning Get. up that first bogue. Yeah. It's a little right side, but it stays up. Kristen just inches inside the circle. Got it a little right. Yeah. A little unexpected. Good par save from Juliana. I was the only birdie on that hole. Own Scoggins also birdie. Only two, huh? Yeah. Wow. Yeah, I like that all the kind of shorter par threes are still very challenging. Oh, yeah. Owen Scoggins two down through five right now. Speaking of a challenging hole, we have <laughs> hole three, par three, 285 feet uphill. Uh, the drone is taking, in my opinion, one of the better lines on mm -hmm. this hole. There's definitely a left side forehand line if you have the power for it. Um, trying to pop a fairway or maybe a faster distance driver that's overstable. Um, the challenge here on most of these holes is being able to keep it high enough, but not too high. Because <laughs> these low branches yeah. just absolutely take everything out of it. Side piping one down there. She did the same thing yesterday. I believe that's a for VIP long bowman. Such good control. This is such a hard shot with the kind of uphill and also low-ish ceiling. Mm -hmm. Very specific gap. Juliana with her turn, I think, finding Circle's Edge or close. Yeah, she might be behind that big tree. Oh, oh, almost. Almost got that middle gap. Missy, though, kicked to a pretty decent spot. Looks like she'll have a chance for a birdie. Kristen did catch a tree going this forehand route yesterday. It's definitely a little bit tighter in the backhand. Oh. Same tree. Yeah. Good recovery. Yeah, very good control with the short up shots. Missy has this one dangling branch right in her way, takes a knee. Oh. <laughs> Right, right angle, right shape. Yeah. Branch said, nah. Nah. Oh, I thought that was in all day. <laughs> it was a confident run. 
And sigh from the bullseye. Two birdies in a row. Finds herself under par for the round. She must have something against pars. <laughs> Isn't her nickname like Sai Par? Ananda. Ananda. Yeah. Like she has that on. Is it on PDGA for a while? Yeah. Not today. <laughs> <laughs> Side two holes in a row, the only birdie on the card. Yeah, picking up a couple strokes on the leader. Is another par three, 320 feet. We throw in kind of a flexing backhand uh, out to the right here. There is a bunker on the right, but you really have to turn one over hard to find it. Uh, definitely everyone can birdie this one. That one fat bottom tree is <laughs> definitely in the way. If you find yourself behind it, it's really hard to make any kind of putt. Yeah, pretty steady headwind on this hole, a little bit of a cross. I think probably the common mistake, if any, on this hole is going to be airing it out too much to the left, just to keep it away from that OB. Most women do take this line. I'm trying to remember if Kristen took the wide hyzer, like power hyzer line yesterday. Yeah, Juliana did a great job really trusting the disc, putting a lot of power to, on the right side of the fairway. I think she'll have that tree a little in her way, though. A little bit. Ooh, I like the turn on this from Missy. Me too. Oh, oh my goodness. Oh. No! Oh, dirty. Wow. That roll behind the tree. Ah, I hope it's close. That was a perfect <laughs> shot. That was Missy's 2022 Tour Series Thrasher. Kristen a little off the line here. Gets a good kick out, though, so she'll have a wide open up shot. Yeah, Kristen not quite as on as we've seen her in previous rounds. Maybe she's just trying to make it interesting. <laughs> she might have a blocked off putt there. I don't know, she seems a little off at the start. I'm not sure if it's because the wind picked up or. Sai with a pretty good effort from deep in circle two. Yep. Looking to get her first par of the round. Juliana has a window here. Go straddle and cans it. <laughs> Looks very relieved yeah. <laughs> to make it. Two down through four. That's Look a great start. how far Missy's disc went. Uh, I mean, that's just so rude. So rude. Kristen with a really r wide straddle to save her par. Ooh, <laughs> nice. Oh, great par save. Maybe four pars in a row for the leader. Dang, bad break for Missy there. Yeah, it hit the base and everything. Kristen maintaining five stroke lead. Juliana won back from Psy, missing a tie for fourth with Owen Scoggins, Paige Pierce, and Ella Hansen. Here we have hole five, huge downhill par five with a uh, distance of 910 feet. The common landing area is about here, maybe here if you can really get some distance on it. All these sand traps and greens don't really come into play that much because most women will be laying up to the right side of the fairway to get the easy birdie. We saw some of these ladies nearly push deep into the sand traps off the drive, which is so far. I wish I knew the distance actually. <laughs> this is such a fun tee shot. Yeah, the wind was a bit on and off today. There was 
a headwind when I had played it, but it seems to be changing a lot today. Yeah, it's swirling up here. Juliana with a really great first shot with another, uh, it's a halo turn. Sai flipping over her Ballista Pro, getting huge distance. Catching a tree, though. Yeah, she's in a good spot. Nice, Missy. <laughs> Great angle control. I would say where Missy and Juliana landed is kind of the typical landing zone. Yeah. We'll see if Kristen uh, shows off a little here. Oh, she's definitely pushing the distance. <laughs> yeah, that's <beautiful. laughs> Orbit grace for Kristen. And she doesn't need to, but she could push for the eagle from there as well. Yeah, I kind of doubt she will with four pars, though. Yeah. But she could. I think Sai catches maybe that last tree, but... She should have a gap. Less than 200 feet, I believe, to the pin. Stays up. Yeah, it seems like it stayed over that sand trap. Can't tell. Hopefully. I think she's safe. Yeah. That would be a great spot. Yeah, perfect layup. This one definitely feels like a must-get birdie. Mm -hmm. Yeah, Kristen with the shorter layup. I think they're all right behind that tree. <laughs> Kristen going forehand left side of that tree in center screen. Probably like 180 or so. Yeah, it seems like she threw that like super gentle. Julianne has been so pinpoint accurate with her approach this tournament. It's really fun to watch. Side so with the wide open up shot. And that's kind of the mistake. We've, oh, oh no. geez. <laughs> Great footwork from the spotter. And I mean, he got the flag right up there. <laughs> yeah. Uh, it seems like when she makes a mistake on the approaches, it's going deep. Yeah. It, I believe she kind of looked like she was going for it yesterday as well. Yeah. I don't know if maybe she was giving that one a little bit of a run, but it's kind of a dangerous play here um, just because we really want to get the birdie on this hole. Yeah, and she's not that far from the OB. She's putting straight back at this huge gallery. Oh. Uh, Nervy. Pulls it just a little bit. Stays in bounds, but. Missy for her birdie. Gonna be 27 feet or so. Dang, that's not a great effort either. Dang. See Missy trying to correct. Sign making good on the par comebacker. Here's another birdie. First yeah. birdie of the day. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and Juliana, Ooh, three down, tweaking it over the rim. One Scoggins four down through eight. Nice. Hole six is a par three, 290 feet. Uh, you can take this gap, I guess, <laughs> that the drone <laughs> took, but more often you see wide forehand play, kind of a slight flex forehand, or on the backhand line, we saw Juliana and Sai both go the wide hyzer route. You can see it on the map of the hole. It's kind of a narrow gap. You can see Juliana's kind of lining it up. The tee pad doesn't really point at it. There's one tree that's leaning that we'll see that uh, is very much in the way. 
Yeah, I wouldn't really say that this is the route you would go if you're trying to get the birdie. I mean, yeah. it, it's the route you would go if you're trying to just get pin high, I think. Pin high, circle two look. Yeah, because if you can hit that guy with something stable, it's still a lot of work to get it left enough. Yeah, we're going to see Kristen take this open left side gap with the forehand. It looks pretty similar to yesterday. But instead skips behind that tree. Yeah, inside the circle, but obstructed. Yeah, we have another long straddle. It's a tournament fortress. Sai so taking this hyzer backhand line, similar to yesterday. Yeah, there's not really a good way to get the backhand through the middle. Oh, I have not seen this attempt. Mm. And it does not quite work out for Missy. I like the idea. Yeah, I left it a little bit wide. Seems like you cool. could get it closer to the pin. See, she's there's she's, a forehand she's you're talking forehand. about. I told you. She's, okay. She's got it. I have not seen it very often, so good for Missy. I think she's hesitant to use it, but when she does, it's typically very good. A little upshot from Sai. Playing some smart golf. Juliana with a bit better of a look at it. Just going to take a par. It's a very similar stance to uh, Kristen's putt on four. Very wide straddle. Mm. No one able to get this one. Yeah, everyone just walking away with pars. Yeah, not a lot of bogeys on this hole, but the birdie's not exactly easy. <laughs> that was a cool shot. Sai and Juliana currently tied. She got only Scoggins five down through nine. This is the new Hope to Ice Orbit. Look at this very nice thing. King <laughs> seven, par four, 450 feet. There's a couple mandos here, but the only one that you're really concerned about is the one on the right side. Everybody's just trying to get their drives up to about where the mando is, to the, or maybe more left of, uh, of the mando. Um, and it's a relatively straightforward upshot from there. It's just the footing that's really the biggest challenge here. But like you said, if you can get up to that mando, the hill starts to flatten and the footing's a bit better. Mm -hmm. Yeah, the higher you go, the easier this upshot becomes. Laying out the solid turn drive. Kristen pushing that 11 speed, letting it flip up the airway. Sigh with a grace. It's a little bit farther. She's in a great spot to attack. You see more of a hyzer line and too high. Catches early. Yeah, I'm, not, I'm, I'm thinking maybe that branch might have helped her out a little bit. Yeah, I think she was going to be pinched on the mando. I don't really think she might be able to get a circle two look. But... Kind of just playing for par now. Yeah, I left it a bit low, but look how slopey that hillside is. Yeah, it's hard to get power when you're doing that uphill run up. This looks great. Yes. Yeah, I, like yeah, I like how uh, slowly she ran up the hill there. Kristen leaves hers a little bit shorter than Juliana, but she's definitely putting for birdie. Look how far Sai is. High with a standstill. Yeah, able to look at the basket, which is so far off the tee. Kind of a little short left, yeah. but she might still be in the circle. Missy from circle three. Lays it up nicely. 
Oh, why it open? Okay, yeah. Circle's nice. edge. Great putt. So I'm moving the two down on the round. Hmm. And she gets one on Kristen. This is odd. Yeah, it happens occasionally. Like, you mm -hmm. can't be on all the time. But it is, I think it's always more surprising when Kristen makes a mistake. Yeah. And you're like, oh, what's wrong? Why, why are you yep. human? Luckily, she has a bit of cushion. But she doesn't want to be doing that all day. Great birdie for Juliana. Four down now through seven. What She's a round. so sneaky <laughs> with, with her score sometimes. And Missy with a great par save on that one. Five stroke ball game. Hole eight is a downhill par four, 615 feet. They added this mandatory forcing you to go down this tunnel. A gentle turnover is a great play. Um, you can go under these limbs like the drone did or go out more to the right, challenging that OB line. You do not need a ton of distance to then attack on your second shot, which is usually kind of a hyzer out to the right. I mean, if, even if you just get 250 to 300 feet down the hill, you can attack for birdie, but it's a tough tee shot to execute. I like this. Oh yeah. Wow. Beautiful. Amazing. Yeah, a couple of different ways to attack this hole. Juliana showed a perfect example of the low line. So I trying to take that high line, so but high. just either didn't turn over enough or was just a little too wide. Maybe a bit of both. It's going to be very tough to get any kind of a look at birdie from there. Kristen trying to turn this grace. Oh, oh, oh man, it was looking pretty. And not the worst kick. There are some lines that are mm -hmm. workable on that left side. Hole should still be reachable from there, but who knows what her lie looks like. Oh, I like this from Missy. Just needs to get under those branches. <sighs> Close. Close. Missy, though, in a spot where she can still attack, I think. Yeah, if you're anywhere on the right side of the fairway here, you have the big, wide... Heiser, pretty Good. much wide open. Look at the stance from Sai. Kind of a reverse patent pending, deep lunge. She bit off a good wow. bit of distance yeah. with that. Really solid. Yeah, Missy definitely able to attack here. Going out to the right, letting it fade back in. Probably, what, just over 300 feet? Mm -hmm. what, a, what a way to keep, uh, stay committed with that. Wideness. I think there's a bit of a headwind on this hole. Kristen does have a wide open forehand look. If it stays clean, we'll be good. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Fantastic. Someone had an Estonian flag <laughs> in the crowd. Oh. Did you see that? <laughs> I did not. <laughs> wow. Juliana so far. That was her drive. Like, yeah, if you're able to get enough air under the disc and stay through clean on those initial trees, you can get really far down there. Sai laying up kind of behind that tree. She's close, but might have to straddle out. Let's see, having a bit of a right to left birdie putt here. Yeah. Oh, it didn't stick. No, it hit Dang. a little bit of left side left, chains. Yeah. The wind just pushed it a little bit. I mean, you can see the branches starting to pick up. It's happening. Kristen leaving it low again. Man, so many missed putts. Just so odd. I don't think I'll ever get used to it. It doesn't seem to be off by a lot, but it's just enough. Mm-hmm. Right, I mean, she's still one down, mm -hmm. clean. Still has a bit of a lead. Didn't lose any strokes, really. Mm -hmm. Juliana with the impressive birdie on this hole. Yeah. Well, actually, that's the first time it's been only a four-stroke difference in a while. So with yeah. Juliana in solo second now. 
four strokes isn't that much. I, I, I said ten she's holes sneaky, to play. Man. She, yeah. She's sneaky. She's creeping up. Look at her go. Yeah, don't count Juliana out. Never. All right, hole nine, par four, 595 feet. We have a double mando off the tee pad. And really you wanna try and choose either the left side or the middle gap for this. Um, the upshot requires a little bit of distance with the basket still being pretty uphill. There's an OB green and some sand traps on the left side. It's really the only danger besides the mandos. Uh, it can get a little tricky on this hole if you get out of position far enough. We saw Juliana kind of pinched off yesterday. Yeah. I do think it is an easy par, but it's mm -hmm. so hard to get your drive far enough to, yeah. to get the birdie. Though everyone's taken this kind of left side play that I hadn't really considered. Uh, a lot of women go up the middle, the path mm -hmm. the drone flew, and these ladies are all going to hyzer out way left intentionally, and it's pretty open over there. Yeah, wide open, really, you just have to throw over the danger and mm -hmm. a lot of these women have the distance where they're not really concerned about landing in there yeah exactly Kristen with a, uh, a little bit better shot than yesterday more commitment I think oh yeah great distance way up there so I had a good shot but just got caught up in the very last branches Missy, with what I'm going to call the more conventional mm -hmm. play. I think this is how the hole was designed to be played. <laughs> and then people just are like, oh, that left side's kind of nice, actually. From this left side, it is kind of more of a straight shot or what Sai is doing and flexing it out to the right and trying to get it to skip back in. Excellent. Yeah, she'll be in circle two, well within her range. Very interesting angle Juliana has here. Yeah, she's having to give it a bit more height and turn than Sai did. Yeah, I'm not quite able to get the distance there, but the shape of the shot was great. Missy's line is going to be more of just like a straight shot that then hyzers out at the end versus a flex. And that's good speed. And I think she gets inside the circle with that one. Person gets to about 20 feet or so. We've seen her miss a couple of those ones. It'd be a good way to end the back or the front nine, excuse me. Cash and one to go two down. Let's go. <gasps> oh, oh man. I don't know, more frisky shot from Juliana. Yeah, yeah, usually she just parks them. Juliana will have a bit of a comebacker. Side with the long birdie look. We saw her do it yesterday on this hole. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> Good effort. Missy from 36 feet. Kind of airs it out. Juliana at that nervy comebacker range. <clears throat> First blemish from Juliana. Kristen for her pretty look. Great putt. Yeah, it was a little left, but it caught. It gets her to <laughs> two down. Missy with the par. Yeah, Missy only one down getting that first birdie on hole one, the hardest hole, and not quite able to convert on any of the others, so she's right there. That went fast, right? Yeah, that went really <laughs> fast. Uh, Kristen Tatar with that six-stroke lead over both Sai and Juliana. Owen Scoggins, five down through 12. Really great round. Uh, Paige Pierce having a good round as well. Uh, a lot of ladies under par. Let's see, what was the hot round was seven down yesterday. We'll see if anyone can beat that today. Yeah. Definitely possible, even with the slightly windier conditions. 
yeah very scorable course very exciting to watch uh we'll see how these ladies attack the back nine yeah join us please i'm erica stinchcomb and i'm rebecca cox and we are cox comb commentary Thank you.